back to one build everybody this is bow doesn't it look awesome this is our um, hot and cold water, water control uh, external shower the shower head connects to here it's a quick connect just press this comes off Tuck back in for a wash off or shower on the back this is our fresh water inlet this van has two water filtration system one of them is the one at the fresh water inlet which is this one water drop it's kind uh, the water goes in, uh, into here before it goes into the tank another one is at the uh, sink in the, in the van uh, which has a UV light system which makes this whole water system drinkable and safe for use on anything. This system is very easy to install. They come with two uh, stainless steel braided hoses. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, about 18 inches. And then they, there's uh, two adapters, male and female, to a half inch, which you connect you can like this one to side to the inlet and then it goes in to this side of the filter and the other one will come out from this side of the filter that goes into the tank right here Let's try again. Alright you guys, this weekend we are going to focus on uh, making these panels on both sides the walls and also down here. Now the challenge is the making of the window frame so this window is not square it's a, it has a rounded corner and when you put the panel you have to make a frame to so that it doesn't show here so to enclose uh, that uh, flash with the um, panel I haven't seen a lot of ideas out there I seen uh, I seen some uh, they build it from wood so I'm going to uh, try to copy that build it out of the wood frame to put all around here and just kind of make a curved co corner here to match uh, then when we put panel let's see how it comes out let's see if I can build a wood frame first and in order to do that the clearance all around the window has you know it has to be clear so I have a little bit of challenge right here and this um, support right here, I have to shave, up, shave off almost an inch more so I can have wood running around here. So now maybe I'm going to see if um, the wood will fit in here, otherwise I have to shave off a little bit more up here. I'm thinking of something like this. This is a one and a three quarter. So if my panel comes down this way, looks like it's a little bit, a little bit too short. I want it to be flashed with the bed frame here. So this is a uh, too small. So I might have to go with this. This is a three quarter by three inch. Maybe just a. Uh, Cut in uh, two inches. I cut them in uh, two inches. 
Go and test it. Let's see uh, if that works. This is what I got so far, and I think it's gonna work. I cut this by two inches thick. Just a little bit space right here, but I think we can put the when we uh, put the fabric, we can put the foam uh, here and wrap it with the fabric. That will will seal that gap a little bit, and then just cut the uh, corner round corner to uh, attach to here I think I think it will work I think it will work all right everybody round number two good morning this is Bo back on the van build again on the weekend uh, continue with the window frame here I made a cut a two inch this is a noise okay sorry about that uh, a three quarter inch thick and then we have to make the round corner. So we're using the uh, cut a two by four inch to make this round corner. So we can um, uh, fabricate it with the, uh, um, the fabric. We're gonna sand it off and make it smoother. And it will be... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> we just got a tornado came by. <laughs> okay, so it, it felt like there was a tornado came by and ripped off that whole uh, canopy. Look at that. It's okay. Uh, we're only two miles from the beach, so we get the, the breeze all the time. Uh, anyways, the window frames, it's gonna be like that. Now we are also cutting a new panel. We're gonna try it again. Now we get better holes uh, because we got some new tools and uh, yeah, new new uh, cutting blade. So we'll we'll see how it fits this time. All right, you guys, we are on the third panel. This big, the biggest panel of all of them. So we're playing with Play-Doh again. It seems to work for us. Okay. All right, everybody check this out. Thank you, Play-Doh. We put a Play-Doh, we push it, and then we drill through the pattern, and all nine screws fit. The first time ever, it was a quick panel. It looks so beautiful. Woo! All right, we progress for today, everybody. Um, we got little panel ready. We got all the ceiling panels done and the window frames. So tomorrow we are going to focus on more panels on both sides and when we have all the panels done then we're gonna uh, what we call the fabric we'll do the fabric over it's gonna be foam in the fabric and then we connect all the LED lights we closer and closer slowly but closer and closer We gotta add a couple more USB plugs. Uh, one on this side, one on the other side of the rear door panel here. And the switch for turning that on here. So since this car did not come with the cover, we had to order. 
Okay, that cover. We're gonna put USB, uh, drill the USB po uh, port uh, into it. So the cover, for that is plastic, it's very easy to make the hole. So I'm using, I already did right here. This is the USB port and it's from the back. You can use something like this to drill to make the hole. This is a one and a one fourth size. Fits perfectly. And then on this one, um, it's a USB and the, uh, the light switch, the tiny light switch for the rear door. It's gonna fit right there nicely. And that is the 7 8 size. Alright guys, the end of the week progress. Uh, we plan to finish all the panels this week, but it it takes longer than I, I thought. It's more complicated than I thought. So we got a few more to go. After that, we're going to take them down and we're going to line them with the fabric and the foam. So uh, here's what we got so far. Okay, I got the water filter system done at least and I have another um, 110 here plug and also added the USB port right here and on the bottom here here's another this is a 12 volt uh, like a cigarette plug just in case you need to charge anything with a cigarette plug or um, anything, pump, tire pump, or anything like that. Uh, on this side, another USB, and here is the uh, little light switch for that right there. There you go. And that's for that light. Ceiling panels, again. We're going to take them down and we're going to line them the same fabric as this. Also, I connected the water connection here for the sink over here already. And here's another uh, plug for, it's going to be for the, the refrigerator, which is on this side. And if you notice this control board here. We also added that 110 and it's gonna be the fan remote control goes here and the uh, uh, it's gonna be the uh, auxiliary, auxiliary input for this it's gonna be right here to be added speakers looks good in a few weeks this van is going to be ready for camping and for now I thank you everybody for watching for following along I will see you see you the next episode thanks again Bye. all right you guys I'm excited I got my favorite dessert there won't be a complete video, a van build video without food. So this time it's dessert instead. I got here, it's a, a sticky rice. Oh, look at that, it's still warm. Sticky rice and coconut milk. And this is a, a egg and coconut milk custard. And I think, let's see, what's this? It's a coconut milk and I don't know something in there 
Mm. Sweet. And my favorite fruit, mango. Mm. Oh. It has really nice fragrance, this mango. And it's super sweet. Mm. Let's eat. Mm. 